Marcy with Make It Work Marcy. Please click that little red um, subscribe button in the bottom, I think, left hand or right hand corner of your screen so you can subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. I want to talk to you today about three steps to downsize your closet. My husband and I downsized our house about nine months ago, and I'll um, link that video at the end of this one. And so we ended up downsizing our closet also. But you might be interested to know, before we moved, I had already downsized my part of our other closet, which was a nice walk-in closet like you're probably used to. And we've gone to this, which I'm not sure if you can tell, but we share it, and it is not a huge closet. I'm going to show you the inside in just a second. So step number one. I read the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by, Tidying Up by KonMari, and this book was really like an eye-opener for me. It really changed the way that I keep house, things uncluttered. Um, if you want to read that book, it's really cool. The second half of, is kind of into like some Eastern religion. I wouldn't really get into that part, but the first part is really practical, has some nice takeaways for decluttering your house and downsizing. So with your closet, first step, take all your clothes out and lay them out on your bed. Sounds like a pain in the butt because it makes a big mess, but it is so worth it and it really, really makes a difference. So take all your clothes out, lay them on your bed. Then you're supposed to pick up each item of clothing and say, does this spark joy? That's what KonMari says. I just ask myself, do I love this piece? And I mean like love it. Not just like it, not just like I can wear it some days if I have nothing else to wear. Do I love this piece? And then you start making piles. If you've seen my other videos, you know I love piles. So I made a pile of to keep because I love those pieces and then to give away. That if you wanna go the first time and make three piles of love it, kind of like it, and then definitely give away, you can do that. And then once you've, gone, you've made your piles of love it, like it, give away, then you wanna try to decide with your kind of like middle pile of like it clothes, do I love this? Do I love the way it fits? Do I love how I feel in it? Or is it just kind of okay? Or is it a no? And you put it in the donate pile. You can donate to Salvation Army, Goodwill, whichever charity you choose. The next step is think about your favorite store. The one I go to most often is TJ Maxx, but that is not my favorite store if I could choose, it's just that it's the closest one to me. My favorite store is Dress Up, and it's not that close to me, but when I get to go in, the reason that I like it is just like, I love to walk in and see the lighting. They've got this really pretty lighting when you go in the dressing room and you try stuff on. The clothes look really nice when they're on. It's organized really cool as far as by styles. You know, they have different outfits set up that you can choose from. It's just very organized and I love shopping there. So I started to think when I downsized a few years ago with my clothes, I started to think I want my closet to look like that. And so I looked for like lamps and I tried those out in my closet before. With this closet, I don't really need special lighting because it's not big enough, but it's going to be worth it in the end for you to see how decluttered it is, which is more important to me than actual lighting. The other thing you want to think about is hangers, and I know that sounds so, so silly, but it really makes a difference. If you can have the same type of hanger, all uniform, you know, you want to do white or pink, whatever. I use the plastic ones, the white plastic ones, and they are, by the way, eight for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So this is not like a huge investment. You can get eight hangers for a dollar at Dollar Tree if you want to go check that out. So the next step is you're going to put your clothes back in your closet. Step number three. So now when you do this, you should only have about 10 pieces. You don't have to get stuck on a number, but there is the whole 10 item wardrobe by Jennifer L. Scott. I read that book. That was good. Um, you've heard of a capsule wardrobe because what you're looking for is a few outfits in each category of your lifestyle. So say you need a few work outfits, three, four, five outfits that you can count on for work that you know you like, you know you love those clothes and how they fit you. Then maybe a few day-to-day -day outfits for your days off. And then you want to have a few nicer outfits for either church or going out with your husband or boyfriend on dates. Um, going out with the girls. You want to have a few cute outfits for going out too. Just categorizing them however works for you will really help you in staying organized with this. Another little trick is this over the door hanger that I found at Target.
So this was like $7 and they're everywhere. They're at TJ Maxx, they're at all kinds of different places. But it really helps to put like your sweaters and bulkier items on there so they're not taking up room in your closet. And then also your dresser. I know we get in the habit of just hanging everything up, um, like your t-shirts even, but if it's just workout clothes or something you don't have to worry about being getting wrinkled and stuff, just put it in your dresser. Try to maximize that space so you have more space in your closet. Let me show you how I've set mine up. So this is my closet. Um, this side is Jacob's side, so you can tell that he definitely maximizes his dresser space because most of his clothes are in his dresser. But these are mine. And then up here at the top, we have a little shelf and he keeps like his swimsuit up there. I've got my swimsuits in that bag and I've got that picture that I'm gonna hang up one day. But down here, these are my clothes. And so I have mine pretty much by colors. Like you can see the pinkish, orangish, the blues, the blacks, the whites, and then these are my dresses. Because within each color, I've got um, tank tops and then, you know, shirts with short sleeves. So then you've got, and I've got my shorts here. So, and actually, if you'll notice, most of my stuff all coordinates together. That really makes it easy when you're picking out your outfits to not have to think, does this top go with anything? Or these shorts, that top's in the wash. I can't wear these shorts today. Just try to, when you're picking out your um, wardrobe and getting everything set up, see if everything can kind of go together. That really helps. And then back here I have my scrubs. I've just got a couple pairs of scrubs. I don't have to worry about um, picking those out. But if you had work outfits, you could have that as a category also. This is kind of dressier. These are shirts. Um, and then I've got my shorts over here. And then back here is like fall and winter clothes. So I'm not gonna get into those right now, but this is just my summer stuff. And so it's very breathable. I've got all those hangers that are uniform like I talked about, that really helps me. And like I said, I didn't end up needing to have perfect lighting for my closet or really anything special for it, but it's just worth it to me to be able to have it be uncluttered and just breathable and just simple. And this is the shoe situation. I've never been a big fan of having a bunch of shoes. I'd rather just have one or two pairs that I wear um, pretty much every day and then like a dressy pair. So that's what these are. There's summer and fall right there. I've got some slippers over here, of course, because that's how I am. But then Jacob has his boots here. Well, I come in here to pick out an outfit. I am not overwhelmed and sitting there thinking what can go with what. I can basically just pick out a shirt and shorts or a dress and I'm good to go. Good luck with you guys because you know if I can do it, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm.